Yes, I want to be a pilot uh, since I was a uh, younger girl because I love flying and military. When I was in a school, uh, I always thought about how like female pilots in the movies and like how cool is the, their job. And I, I was thinking, oh, why we can't have it in Jordan? Like, why not? Yeah, and then like six years later, I just saw the advertisement on Facebook. Uh, the real vision inspired Jordan Armed Forces to improve the existence of females at all levels, especially in graduating uh, female pilots. The United States uh, Armed Forces, uh, in particular USAF, and the embassy in Jordan uh, has a huge uh, role in, in supporting and uh, keep uh, pushing uh, to make sure that this program will be a success for JAF and uh, RGF. I was especially excited when I learned that the RJF had nominated some female cadets to their Air Academy. You know, before women were widely accepted uh, as pilots in the Air Force, that's kind of where, you know, Jordan is now as they bring female pilots into the ranks for the first time. The partnership with the, the U.S. military, it was like amazing how helpful they were and how uh, understanding. The real involvement I've had has been with their female cadets when they started at their Air Academy. It helped me to help them navigate through uncharted territory here in Jordan. The mentorship allowed me to at least share my experiences, to share the challenges. Mm, female pilots here can work under any pressure and under any circumstances. We can do as men do. Uh, no difference uh, in tasks and requirement between males and female. A uh, woman can do anything in anywhere, and the woman, uh, when works uh, under pressure, uh, produce special things. The participating of uh, Her Royal Highness uh, Princess Salma has assisted in the succeeding uh, the RGF program. Uh, Her Royal Highness is always uh, was a motivation for us. It's humbling to play even a small part in Jordan's journey in advancing women's role in the Air Force. Uh, His Majesty encourages Jordanian girls to break through all glass ceilings, and I'm happy to be a part of that in the Air Force. Uh, I was actually terrified of flying, uh, but my father, His Majesty, suggested I take some lessons just to get over my fear, and the encouragement I received was all I needed to complete my training, and now I really look forward to it, and I think it's a part of who I am now. Both he and my brother are pilots, so their support is really encouraging. And my brother always checks on me after my lessons, so he always comes and asks me like how I did, and he tells me about his own experiences uh, with flying, which was really helpful. Uh, the royal family uh, inspire the Jordanian people. The number of applications for females for recruiting at King Hussein Air College has increased by, by hundreds. So His Majesty has been hugely supportive of this program as well as building a female core of pilots within the RJAF. His Majesty the King and, and the Queen is the great supporter of having a uh, more effective role for uh, the woman in the Jordanian society. It's not only uh, on the armed forces. Uh, His Majesty would like to see women in all ministries in all uh, sectors, so either a public or a private sector. Male pilots from Arab countries, and like, they were so surprised that we have female pilots in Jordan. Like I said, no, I'm not the first one. I'm not, like, I'm not the only one. The example that Jordan is setting by making you know, women equal partners within the JAF and within the RJAF, uh, that sends a very strong message of equality across the region. Um, and I think Jordan should be very proud of that progression that they've started. Um, and I think that it will start to trickle into other parts of their society as well. I think it's important for Jordanian girls to know that they can do anything they put their minds to. And even if someone says you're not capable of doing something, the best way to prove them wrong is to just roll up your sleeves and show them you can do it.